This is a continuation of what I've been thinking about cantonaries, the form that happens when you hang a chain between two points. So in this one, I started thinking about how they would kind of loop down if they were like pulled back up and then looping over, kind of like curtains. When people have curtains and they hang them with these rods like in the middle, what happens to the fabric or like what would happen to the lines if that's how they were being hung. So that's the general idea behind it. I just thought it'd be interesting to see what would that look like via lines because it's kind of an interesting structure to me. I've also been thinking about paper being folded back on itself and what that would do to lines that were maybe drawn across the page, like if you think about a sheet of notebook paper. So that's what this one is exploring. Also, it's fun because I'll be bringing in the shadows that I haven't really done in past works, so just kind of been like flat. So this one is along those lines, what I'm thinking about if a paper were folded back on itself. I was imagining just a sheet covered in all of these lines and then if it were folded and creased back on itself and maybe the back, like the back of it were black, the reverse of it. So what would happen to the lines and like how they'd intersect in different ways. So something like that is really interesting to me because it's just simple lines, but then once they're kind of reversed back on themselves and manipulated, they get a little bit cooler. This one is thinking about a little bit of the same concepts of the piece of folded paper, except thinking about it more as a structure that goes back into space. So I'm really interested again about how the lines change when they move back into space they get smaller trying to create something that you feel like you could walk around in this one is again with the catenary that sort of idea of a chain between two points but i wanted to see what it would be like if you flip it on its side so it's kind of going against gravity and then also shift it a little bit more so it's moving in a way it's not supposed to and then this one here is an example of the catenary happening horizontally and for this one too, I wanted to combine ideas of a structure that you feel like you could walk inside of or there could be something going on behind it that you don't really see what is there. For the project on Sunset Boulevard, an interior design company contacted me to do a mural in the lobby of High Luxury Residence. So what they wanted to do, because it's located in West Hollywood, was represent their surrounding landscape, and that's like the Hollywood Hills. They wanted me to create that sort of landscape in my grid style. For a show I did last May, I was able to do a 3D installation, which was really interesting to me. Also thinking about cantonaries, that shape that happens when a line is hung between two points. And I wanted to think about it as more of like a drawing in space because I've been drawing them on paper. So I wanted to figure out how I could get that same thing across where you could walk through it and experience it differently. The 
The one in Seattle was really fun because it was my first outdoor mural, so that brought along a lot of challenges, but I got to work with a great company called Four Culture, and they commission artists to do murals along this stretch in south downtown of Seattle. So it's really fun to be working alongside a lot of other talented people.